Hello, a warm welcome. This is Nationwide on the network service of the NTA. I'm Rhoda Albo, and as always, it's good to have you join us. President Mohamed Buhari has described as untrue claims in the local and international media that he accused or indicted the United States government of helping the terrorist group Boko Haram. In a statement in Abuja by the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, the president said the claim is an untrue an misinterpretation and distortion of his remarks at the U.S. Institute of Peace. The Statements indicate that President Buhari was convinced that the U.S. could never support groups such as Boko Haram. The regrets expressed by the president about the impact of the application of Lehi laws on Nigeria's way against Boko Haram and terrorism cannot be construed as an indictment of President Obama. The president expects that the fruitful talks he had with the U.S. counterpart will lead to better mutual understanding and further deepening of bilateral relations between Nigeria and the United States in the areas of defense and security cooperation. In the spirit of Africa helping Africans in the recovery and reconstruction of countries affected by the Ebola epidemic, President Mohamed Buhari has announced a donation of one million U.S. dollars to the course. President Buhari was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Health, Mr. Linus Awute. Mr. Awute made the donation at the International Conference in Africa's Fight Against Ebola in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. While sharing Nigeria's experience in rapidly containing Ebola, he pointed out that the country is is not celebrating the end of Ebola in Nigeria until the disease is totally eliminated from the continent. Hence, the nation's commitment to support in consultation with the AU Commission to deploy health professionals to reactivate essential health services. The Nigerian Epidemiological and Laboratory Training Program will provide the, region, the required training for the available health professionals from the three countries of Guinea, Liberia, and Syria. The Permanent Secretary disclosed that Nigeria is supporting research efforts in developing therapies and vaccines against the disease as well as establishment of the African Center for Disease Control. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari says his administration is set to work with a body of journalists that is ready to partner with government for overall interest of the nation. The president extended this hand of fellowship in a message to the opening of the Trinial National Delegates Conference in Abuja. Correspondent Anthony Fosing reports. President Mohamed Buhari's message was delivered by his special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina. He said government will ensure that press freedom is guaranteed, while practitioners on their part must exhibit a high sense of patriotism. If our democracy will grow, there must be freedom of information to promote transparency and accountability in government. The era in which government and the media are adversaries should be conclusively over. In this era, we don't need that again. Rather, we should be partners. That does not mean that the media cannot be critical of government. They can and they should when necessary. Senate President Bukola Saraki was represented by Senator Sheusani and the Speaker, House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, all called for a synergy between the media and government. We cannot underestimate the importance of the media in the art of governance. The roles they have, although secondary in nature, are primary and centrally placed in national, regional, and local affairs. We will need to work together to deepen democracy in the Aid Assembly as part of our legislative agenda. We will work with you as a group and as individuals to put together the legislations that will enhance the value of journalism as a profession to improve the quality of life 
for the journalists and protect the journalist and his family. The Nigerian people in return expect the media and journalists to give them truthful, balanced, and verifiable reportage. Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of Information, Dr. Fola Shade Yemiason, and her counterpart in the Federal Capital Territory, all eulogized Nigerian journalists, describing them as a great asset to the nation. For Mohamed Garba, whose reign as President of the Union is coming to an end, he was full of gratitude, saying, under his tenure, the Freedom of Information Bill was passed. The energy now has an insurance scheme for its members and has secured a permanent secretariat. Of worthy of note is the accreditation it got for the International Institute of Journalism. The 5th Triennial National Delegates Conference has as its theme fostering safety of journalists and building synergy with agents of the state. In Abuja, Antony Forson, NTA News.